So, I just came up with a really interesting idea for a video, you know? I said to myself, I said, Self, what can I do a video about today? Right before, uh, you know, bedtime. And I decided, let's do a video about naughty coins. Yes, naughty coins. Coins that are naughty. Because all of us need naughty coins. We want uh, coins, yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we aren't supposed to have. Maybe, maybe the world says it's not good. Naughty coins, oh boy. No, I'm just being silly, guys. Um, sometimes the, uh, the lots I get, they might contain, um, you know, coins maybe with certain symbolism that isn't considered uh, acceptable, but, you know, man, reprehensible in uh, a lot of ways, you know. Um, I've always thought Paul von Hindenburg was absolutely reprehensible. Um, no, I'm just <laughs> Not at all. Not at all. From what I gather, he was a pretty, pretty well liked fellow in his time. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he had his detractors, but you know, uh, what are you gonna do? You can't, you can't please everyone. I wonder if uh, we do well with the lighting change in here. But I think we can all agree that certain coins are deemed very naughty. Very naughty, no, 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 you don't want these. And these sort of coins can be had under melt. Yes, that's the truth of it. That is the truth of it, guys. That's the long and short of it, isn't it, right there? Right? Hmm. Maybe that lighting choice wasn't the wisest. So for a dollar ninety, you can find... The 1936 0.4016 troy ounces of Nazi goodness, okay? And that is not to say, let me get, I'll turn the light back on. I thought it might help with the glare, but it didn't. Um, yeah, you can get a Nazi five mark coin if you're lucky you know it's not beautiful but uh i don't know if you guys checked last time i checked 0. 0.4019 ounces of silver was worth more than a dollar 90 call me insane now other times you might pay 20 30 bucks an ounce for it you know 29 30 bucks an ounce for it but you always have to remember there's mint marks on these. And the further away from A you get, as a general rule, the better. Um, and condition matters too, right? So you get a nice minty fresh one. You're going to pay, a, you know, I'll buy something for $29 an ounce. That's a piece of history, you know. I might be miscalculating that, but that's just off the top of my head. Uh, you know. So, again, the mileage will vary. 1094 for 0.4019 ounces. And again, we got a D there, so, you know, you get the idea, guys. But a great many of these I got at very nice rates. Um, but this one, uh, you know, uh, it's going to depend on the mintage and the condition. Like, this one's minty, minty fresh. So I paid a little more. Not the best mint mark on this one, but... I mean, look, that's that's a nice... Nice coin. Also, you know, some of these I bought before I really upped my game, right? Some of these I bought when I was just getting started. So, you know, like this, that's way too much to pay for that. But... Maybe I thought it was a five mark because I was just starting out, you know. Um, 
You just never know. But then you'll get one like this for six dollars and three cents, you know. So mileage will vary. Mileage will vary. And then when you're trying to get the cool Well, I got nineteen a lot of nineteen thirty six D's, don't I? <laughs> don't know why. I think I got three of them. Five seventy one. That's yeah. It's not terrible. Um but then, you know, twice that for the, this one, you know, so. Ooh, this one's nice. 703. Guess that's not too bad. Ooh, $1.90. That's, that's a good price for a Potsdam Church. Five mark. And here's another Potsdam church. I paid eighteen fifty three for that one. So, man, like that's like thirty five dollars an ounce, isn't it? Thirty six? Oh, more than thirty six dollars an ounce. Hell, that's almost forty dollars an ounce. But then you know, five seventy one seems a little more fair. All right. Well, that doesn't seem like a very good price. Sixteen fifty. What's up? Oh, it's a J. So it's probably a really hard date. Yeah, that explains that. All right. Ooh, this one's nice. Oh yeah, naughty coins, guys. Naughty coins. We got lots of naughty. Ooh, that one's big and boisterous. And uh, what? Right about melt. Huh. Right right around melt for this one. 11.35, so it's 0.4. We double it, that's 22. And then, it's you know, it, yeah, we're real close to melt on that one. And this one's just a little over melt. Oh, wait, that's a two mark. See, there, you got to be careful with these. The two marks and the five marks look very similar. And the size difference isn't what you'd expect either. Because what they did was they changed the alloy, not the size so much. I mean, there is a difference, but it's not not nearly what you'd expect. <coughs> uh, so, huh, that must be a harder date. Or, you know, like I said, maybe something I got when I was first starting out. Or when silver was higher. Because silver's always moving. Oh, wait, it's a moving target. Here, there we go. This is more like it. You know, 90%. What, at 36D, I've got like four or five of those, looks like. Yeah, that was overpaid. Well, it must be a nice date. Yeah, 1937J. Like I said, usually the further away from A, you get the better off. All right, and I got two more of these coming in a mail call video um, that were under melt, actually well under melt. Anyway, that's uh, one type of naughty coin. There's other types of naughty coins. Um, this guy was very naughty, wasn't he? Yeah. Our his history buffs will know what I'm talking about here. Very naughty coins. Very naughty. Anyway, what do you, what kind of naughty coins do you guys have? Are you naughty too? Also, do you ever think that maybe the the woke crowd will come up with a law that says it's illegal to own this kind of stuff because of reasons? Because they say so. That's a nice price for that piece. Yeah. Um, is that uh, is that something that's coming down the pike? Uh, owning a coin is hate speech. Could that be a thing? You know, I, uh, I'm i going to bring it up. How would it? A very prominent YouTuber. Um, and I, we had a disagreement. Yeah. And uh, he was very rude to me uh, when he kicked me off his channel because all I mentioned was is that um, I won't get into it. Well, actually, I will. I'll get into it. So... I put up a picture of some coins I had bought. The lot I got a really nice deal on. And uh, somebody caught, mentioned, this is all in Discord, um, 
that they wouldn't have bought that lot because it had a naughty coin in it that came with the lot. And, uh, and I said, you know, uh, it's silver, 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 you know, I, uh, and I was really nice about it. And then he kept going on. Well, that doesn't matter. That symbol can't be on anything I own. And I would suggest you do the same. And I said, well, I didn't really ask you for your opinion. And, you know, uh, you worry about your stuff, right? And then it got really ugly. Um, I, I mean, I was nice the first couple times, but then I just, you know, look, I'm, I'm a human being. I can only take so much of anyone's garbage. And this guy was an idiot. So... Then this guy, I'm not going to say his name, he, uh, we had a one-on-one -on -one because they froze my account or whatever, my ability to comment, even though this guy was, you know. So anyway, I, uh, I, all I said to the guy was, I said, uh, you know, if it, he said, it doesn't matter what this guy thinks about your silver. So I don't know why you're engaging him. I said, well, it's not incumbent upon me not to engage him. He's engaging me. And he says, well, we just don't do that here. And I said, look, uh, if everyone on earth felt the way this guy did, then they would start confiscating this stuff. And he said, I don't have time for this idiotic S. And uh, was, he, was, he was mad at me for being rude and inconsiderate and all this. But then he's sitting there telling me he don't have time for my ignorant BS. And uh, he dropped a couple F-bombs and then kick me off yeah and i'm like i'm just sitting here like all i did was tell the guy silver is silver and i was actually uh what's bad is true story i was helping out two members of his channel in acquiring silver at the time i was sending them links off ebay so I, you know that was just one of the many services i'll provide you is um you know i'll i'll send you some hot leads and you know you bid and I'll do that for you if there's something specific you're looking for. I'm I'm pretty good at hunting for stuff, you know. Don't let these naughty coins, uh, you know, there's some deals in here, but not, you know, I, I, I can find you deals. If you're wanting some, I can probably find it for you, okay. Uh, I can even find stuff that's mislabeled a lot of the time, right. So, anyway, I'm in the middle of helping this guy out, and luckily, I we had a private message up. And I was able to continue helping. And uh, he was looking for some Hebrew coins, some Jewish stuff. Uh, which is kind of ironic because we were just arguing about, you know, Nazi coins. But I'm sitting there helping this other guy find Israeli coins. Because I don't care what's on the coin. If it's a hunk of silver and it's got, you know, value, I'm all about it. And, you know... There's people out there who would who would literally say that owning this stuff should be illegal. They're out there. And so I'm getting flack for that, for making that position known. I'm getting flack for that. Anyway, so anyway, it was good riddance. I mean, whatever. But uh, you know who you are out there. If you watch this, you know what you did. Um, anyway... That's all I got for today. Uh, your naughty coins. Tell me in the comments, what's a naughty coin for you? You know, uh, a lot of this is political. You know, what I see as naughty, you might see as uh, cool. I hope not. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, some things are clearly naughty. I don't have any coins with Mao on them or Stalin on them. Um, I do have some coins from like uh, the Lenin era. Um, and he was a pretty naughty guy. But, uh, you know, uh, I don't have any Pol Pot coins. That could be a cool collection, couldn't it? A bunch of uh, coins from the times of tyrants. The tyrant collection. Guys, let's resolve today to get a tyrant collection so that we never forget what a tyrant is. You know, a lot of people, they want to pretend. They want to pretend like uh, if we don't look at something, we can pretend it didn't happen. You know, I don't know. I don't understand this mentality. You know, it's like book burning. Uh, now it's coin burning. These people are idiots, okay? Tell me in the comments what you think, but I think they're idiots. I think they are genuinely stupid and uh, ignorant slugs. And uh, quite frankly, I have no use for them. So when that idiot was talking to me, I was nice twice. The third time, uh-uh. 
he just kept on and on with sniveling little putts. Anyway, have an amazing day. And uh, like, share, subscribe.